Hi guys, in this video we are going to generate a QR code based off the website's name. So if you scan this QR code you should be redirected to pipeline.com. This is the page of my blog. So yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so before we go on and jump into code, I would like to walk you through on what have I done so far. So I created a QRC project and this is our main project folder that consists of settings py and urls py among others of course, but in those two files I applied uh, some uh, changes and uh, beginning from the settings py I just added some information for Django where to look for the templates and I added some basic settings for the media files and I also included the media files in the URL patterns so uh, this is basically it if uh, I, I didn't install any application just yet so this is it for settings py and urls py one more thing that i did is to create a super user so i'm currently at the admin i'm already logged in so uh, you can do this on your own and we can begin from this point so the first thing that we will do right now is to create an application so i'm going to stop the server from running python manage py and we want to start an application that we will call websites okay and if we go to uh, the visual studio code here is our website so we can actually include it in the installed apps websites we can go ahead and save the settings py and jump into websites over here let's go to models py and create our model so i'm going to call it website and this will inherit from models.model and the first field it will be just an ordinary char field so this is going to be the name of the website and we will put in the max length equals to 200 and the second field will be the QR code so over here we will put an image field and we will specify the upload to as um, QR codes and we will also um, make this blank is equal to true because in just a second we will override the save method and yeah we will do some magic over there so right now what we can do is to add a string representation and this will simply uh, return str self name okay so now we can jump into the admin where we will register our model so we can see it over here and uh, we just need to import it so from dot models import import website and then admin site register website so now we can save it and we can uh, run the migrations but before we are using over here in the models py file an image field so we need to install a pillow first so pip install pillow and now we can run python manage py make migrations and python manage py migrate okay and python manage py run server all right so if we refresh this page we can see the website so i'm going to add one and i'm going to put in pipeline or pipeline com and i'm going to save this so here is our pipeline com here is our first object of this uh, class okay so now what we need to do is to install QR code and I will be using version uh, 6.1 pip install QR code is the command that we need to put in the terminal so let's do this all right and now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's do some imports so we will begin by importing QR code code and the second thing that we need to import is bytes io so from io import bytes 
io and then we would like to import a file so from django core files import file and we would also like to import or maybe from pill import image and image draw okay and i think i think this is it for now so we can begin our work so below the string representation method let's create another one we will override the save method so let's write self and then args and keyword args and over here first of all we need to decide based on what we want to create our QR code and we want to create a QR code based on the name field so we can set a variable called QR code image and this is going to be QR code and then make and we need to pass in self name so this is the first step then we want to construct a new image based on some parameters and the parameters are going to be the mode the size and the color so uh, let's see how this works in practice i'm going to create a new variable called canvas and i'm going to write down image new and uh, the mode will be rgb red green blue and the size will be 290 by 290 and the color will be white so now we can set a new variable draw and we can write image draw draw and what we need to pass in is this canvas then we would like to paste to this canvas this QR code image so this is going to be very easy canvas and paste and we just need to pass in this QR code image so the next step will be to set a file name so I'm going to create another variable called fname and I'm going to write down maybe something like this QR code and then just self name and we also need to provide the extension so plus and then PNG all right so now it's time to um, create an in-memory file object and we can set a variable buffer and just simply set it to bytes.io and then we just need to write canvas save and pass in this buffer and png all right and we need to uh, create a file object and pass it to this image field okay so we can do it like this self cure code and we can use the save okay and then f name we are passing from here and the file will be the buffer and we need to set save is equal to false because otherwise we will have an infinite loop and we will get uh, a lot of images in our media files so this is very important we aren't saving um, this QR code over here because we are going to close the canvas and we are going to save it over here super save and then pass in arcs arcs why isn't the snippet working anyway I'm going to type it manually arcs and keyword arcs all right so I think this should work so we can actually test this out I'm going to save this and let's jump into uh, the models let's go to pipeline.com and okay we need to run the server python manage py run server let's refresh and save and continue editing and there is our QR code so this is working so now we can jump into Visual Studio Code and uh, yeah we can display it I'm not going to 
put this into the website. I'm not going to create a new templates folder and do all the views. I'm just going to go to the main project folder. And so in the QRC project, I'm going to create another file called views py. And over here, I'm going to uh, import from Django shortcuts render. And I'm just going to create a simple home view which takes in a request and I'm going to set a variable called name as uh, maybe um, welcome to okay and then um, let's grab also the uh, object so we need to import our model from websites dot models import and we want to import the website and over here we can simply write obj is equal to website objects get and we this is got the pipeline is the first id so we can write down id is equal to one and finally we can decide what we want to pass to the template which we don't have yet with the context dictionary and we want to pass in the name and to this is the name that we will use in the template and this is the variable that we are passing so this is the key this is the value and over here we also want to use the obj so we can do it like this okay and finally let's return render and the first parameter is the request then we will have home html and we want to pass to this home HTML this context dictionary that we defined. So now we can go to the URLs py. We need to import this view. So from dot views import home view. And let's define a new path. This is going to be the main page. And we are going to set the home view and pass in the name is equal to home. All right, so now we just need to create this uh, template. So let's go um, to SRC folder. Let's create a templates folder. And inside this templates folder, let's just create home HTML. And I'm going to head to my blog. And here is a social network project that you can do for free. And here is the starting template, which I will simply borrow. However, we don't need to have all these blocks. We just, we, there won't, we won't do any inheriting from over here. So I'm going to delete, delete the blocks. And I'm just going to write it down over here in H1. We want to take the name first and then the object and access the uh, name field. Okay, so we are um, basically getting this name, which is welcome to, and over here we have the name of the website. So uh, we are getting the name of the particular object that we also um, defined over here okay so this obj name should return pipeline com while the name is welcome to okay so this is one thing and then we can go to uh, home html and just close off this h1 and then write emg src and we want to go to the obj qr code and then we need to add the url so we will have the full path to this uh, particular qr code we can close it off we can save it and then we just need to go to our page and there it is welcome to pipeline.com and this is our qr code so if we actually go ahead and scan it this will redirect us to pipeline.com you can go ahead and test it out 
And yeah, I think we are done for today. Thank you for this tutorial. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and we will see each other soon. Take care and bye-bye.